Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the homestead. Good morning, guys. Well, it's a busy day for us today. It's going to be hot. Yeah, it's supposed to be really hot, like 90s and up but, to 100. Yeah, possibly for the rest 100. Of the week. Yeah, yeah. We already got uh, warnings and uh, watches for extreme heat, and we should be very careful. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to see what happens there. But it has already been super steamy, and uh, it's only what nine o'clock in the morning. No, it's only eight, eight thirty in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's about eight thirty. We did get some stuff done. You did morning cho uh, chores. Yep, we did. Our chicken chores are done, yeah. and uh, everything is all set there. We need to get into the garden and do a harvest because. Mm -hmm. We are going away. Yeah, we're going away this weekend for yep. the Homesteaders Expo. And where is that? In Marshfield, Missouri. That's right. So we will not be doing farmer's markets those days, mm -hmm. and we will be off the farm all day. So yeah. well, there's a lot of buttoning up we're going to do today to get things ready because we still have three farmer's markets leading up to that weekend that we need yeah. to be ready for and uh, all the other projects we got on the homestead so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into the garden we're going to assess mm -hmm. and we're going to uh, do a little bit of harvest what are you doing after that i need to get up into the greenhouse and make sure everything is watered and everything looks good all right and i am going to get over to the sawmill and I am going to try and get some logs cut up because I want to get moving on Missy's farm stand building. Yeah, I think we have some other things going on today, but we'll bring you along and see what's happening. All right, come along with us, guys. These are some really good looking summer squash. They've been pretty prolific in our garden this year, so we're really happy about that. Even though, even though there's not supposed to be summer squash over here. No. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, seeds but, got mixed up somehow, and we have summer squash growing over in our gourd area. Yeah, it but happens, but it's, it's growing. It's working. Yeah, it's growing. <laughs> Okay. 
Looks like we've got a squash beetle infestation going on over here. We might have to address that very soon. So what are you up to now? We have some peppers that I need to stake up with all the rain that we got. They got pretty soggy and they keep falling over. So even in our pots that we left peppers in, I'm going to go stake up and tie to a piece of wood. All right. Part of uh, work in the garden is maintenance, and you can see these tomato branches are about to flop over. So what we have found this year is these T-post clips are perfect. Watch this, guys. You just put it up there, put it around it. wrap it through can you see that right there and it'll hold it right up here i'll do another one and we'll do a third one for you And the nice part about that is you're not bending the clips. So when these tomatoes uh, need to be pulled out, we can take a five gallon bucket, collect all the clips and we'll have them for next time. Alright, that does it in the garden. It is sweltering hot already. It is. This I, week is supposed to be in the 90s yeah. or close to 100 every day. Yeah, if not in 100 or more. Mm -hmm. And we've already gotten uh, extreme heat wa uh, watch and warning mm -hmm. for this area for... Yeah. At least this week, if not longer. So. And it's like 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it's piping hot. But that'll take care of harvest in the garden. You're going to do what? You're going to the greenhouse, make sure everything's got water. Yeah. And I'm going to go to the sawmill and see if I can get some logs cut up so that we can get a little bit closer to putting Missy's farm stand building up before the real heat of the day comes in. here I have my cabbage and my kale and I'm bottom watering in these trees because we had a pest problem so I needed to spray some diatomaceous earth on them but they're doing well now so it seems like that has taken care of the little worms that we had going on so I'm hoping that they're gonna do well and be ready for us to plant in the ground soon Alright guys, 
guys. So over on this side is some more salad blend. So we're gonna bottom water here too to make sure that they have enough for the heat of the day. So we are now in the other greenhouse. I have a bunch of herbs growing in here. I have some basil, some thyme, some lemon balm, a little bit of parsley, some rosemary, and I believe I got some fennel in here still. So those need to get watered. So let's get going with that. The mill is in the shade, so I am not going to waste too much time. I'm going to get right on it. I want to get as much timber as I can cut up before I'm in the blazing sun.
Even Rocco's resting in the shade today. How huh, Rocco Lapone? Well, I'm in another shirt. It's my third shirt for the day. I didn't get as much work done on the sawmill as I was hoping, but once that mill got out of the shade and into the sun, uh, it got really, really hot, guys. And I was having a hard time even putting my hands on it. It was getting so hot. So I shut that down. I don't want to overheat my mill. Tomorrow's another day. So I'm going to come down to the camper and see what Missy's up to and see what's next on the project list. Rocco, you getting hot? You getting hot, Bob? Come on, let's go get a drink. Come on. Come on, let's go get a drink. Come on. All right, one of the things we like to do when it's super hot like this is put frozen water bottles in with the rabbits. So, let's come back here and I'll show you what I'm I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hey, Hillary. What that does is they will they will uh, lick on that. They will lay up against it, and they will get some comfort from that cool water bottle. And frankly, I don't blame them. Sounds like a wonderful idea to lay up against a nice cool water bottle. Hillary seems pretty comfortable. Look guys, Buck moved his water bottle over. He's laying right next to it. Hillary is too. Those guys seem to be pretty happy back here. They're pretty much in the shade most days, or most of the day. Every once in a while, a little sunlight will peek in on them. But I'll tell you, it's 101 degrees. I just checked in my truck. Super scorching, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. 
we got a lot accomplished today not as quite as much as i was hoping for but this heat there's only so much you can do all right guys we appreciate you stopping by the homestead remember hit that like hit that subscribe and hit that bell and i'll let you know every time we got a video coming out till the next one we'll see you later bye